Kitchens Rebound. We're dedicated to helping you manage the pressure of isolation during the COVID pandemic. And while we're all asked to keep our distance from one another, for many, being alone isn't easy. Our Abby Breidenbach joins us live with the unhealthy ways people may be coping and how to find help. Good morning, Abby. From financial loss to general stress surrounding the disease to isolation, many of the issues we're dealing with in the pandemic have led some people to cope with unhealthy substances. We spoke with two local experts who say that cases are on the rise for people both in need of and seeking help for substance abuse. Since the pandemic began is we have had uh, a great increase in admissions, there's a direct correlation between the pandemic and the sociological effects that are going on in the community um, that are adding to the depression and anxiety. The biggest issue plaguing those who struggle with addiction is isolation. Isolation is one of the, the most detrimental symptoms or components to um, you know recovery or getting better. Though it is not recommended that you gather all your friends and family in a room, facilities like Lake Wellness Center have options to ensure nobody feels alone. We have transitioned our program entirely to telehealth services. And even though it's not in-person uh, meetings, it still gives clients the opportunity to uh, be able to interact with others. At home, it's also recommended to set a daily routine, try a new hobby, and stay connected with loved ones via FaceTime or Zoom. For those with more urgent or serious needs, there are residential centers that have not shut down. We're an essential business. We've remained open and we're here because there is a great need um, during you know this traumatic time in our lives. If you or someone you love is dealing with any of these issues, you can go ahead to our website, KATC.com, to find some resources and links to both the experts' pages who we spoke with to hopefully get some help.